Wowsker, Wowsker, time to hit the road. Good Lord, what a project. Five o'clock. <laughs> I haven't stopped. It's just cheesy. Be unbelievable. How crazy am I? I know, I'm a crazy man. I get all that. He's right here. They're ready to rock and roll. We're ready to go. And you know what's gonna happen here? I already know what's gonna happen here. I gotta go back to the barn. So I have a cable. Yes, I am. So let me get up here. Oh, he's you second here. Select the trailer. Select the trailer. Let's see here. here okay, I did. Select the trailer. I did. Okay, United Car Holders. Okay. All right. Are we good? Is it good? Now the day the ride begins, man. Oh my gosh. So let's get here. You know, it's so different for me driving my diesel trucks this big trailer. I've never ever driven a uh, half ton truck with this big a trailer. I've never done it. And I usually don't like to because what happens is it's not that the truck doesn't have the power. It's the problem is the uh, it's just the truck. The frame just can't handle this much weight. It's not as stable. So Oh my goodness, just doesn't end. All right, so the adventure begins. And the adventure is me figuring out what is this truck gonna do? So let's go to the uh, tow mode. Go to tow mode, there we go. And you just saw the miles per gallon. Yeah, that's all gonna change, I promise you that. Oh, there's no way that's gonna be the ball game. So now, make sure my Lights are on. You know, I haven't driven this trailer. So, so I haven't driven this trailer probably in a year and a half. Maybe two years. Yikes, right? My little baby's right here. And I think we're good to go. So let's see here. What's going on now here? All right. I think we're okay. And go there. And let me get this thing here. I got to... Jump out of the truck real quick here in a second. Alright. Alright, the fun begins. You just stay right there, old boy. Yeah, the adventure begins. And what's interesting is what is my power thing set at? 10. Wow. So I can already feel this truck. The uh the power. Oh, dang it. I'm going. We're gonna be in five o'clock traffic. So here's my next challenge. Uh -huh. Yeah, the next challenge. So here's where those mirrors really pay off. Wow. Yeah, see, so here's the thing. Hang on, truck and trailer. The freaky stuff begins. So, yeah, so far, definitely good power. No doubt about that. And that's encouraging. But what I kind of figured is the truck gets that little, it gets that, that float type of action going on. And it's because of it's a half ton truck. You know, these half ton trucks know they have the capability to big, you know, tow. But the problem is, it's, it's the frame of the truck, it's the weight of the truck, it's so many things that add into the vehicle handling. What I've noticed on the half ton trucks is these big trailers push them around. So, tell me what happens is the truck really does get pushed around more so than your. Uh, three-quarter or one-ton truck stiffer suspension heavy duty and the uh, so it's a more enjoyable ride when you have the uh, oh, you're freezing me out oh my goodness gracious so anyways the you know the heavy-duty truck it's just a more confident driving vehicle but I just really wanted to do a tow review in this truck because I really want to see but now, pretty good hills. I mean, it's hard to tell this stuff in videos, but I'm going up some really good inclines right now. And right now, this truck's really doing a great job of, of just really good pulling. I mean, really nice. Now, what's going to be really interesting, is this thing going to be 8 miles a gallon? 10? I mean, I think we're going to be at 8. Well, it's pretty cool. This has, this has close to a 30-gallon tank. So on this truck here, on this truck, miles a gallon, 
I'm definitely going 200 miles before I have to fill up. 180, 200 miles. Now, unlike that Bronco, it had a 21 gallon tank at six, seven miles a gallon. I'm going to the freaking gas station every 80 to 100 miles. It's just aggravating. The other thing is that Ram truck, that white Ram truck I have, I towed with that thing, and that damn thing has a uh, really puny tank. I was blown away. So, oh my goodness, this so far our truck really is doing a damn good job. Going up these hills. Oh, here we go. Jesus Christ. This sucks. Oh, look at this here. Wow. Wow. Oh, somebody's having a really bad day. I mean, somebody's having a really bad day. <laughs> How did that all happen? Oh, wait. Dang it. So here I'm taking a picture of my face, and it's actually a... Uh, Oh, uh, yeah, so a guy back there ran off the road big time. I mean, down the ravine. Yeah, that was like that story this morning. So a guy basically just drove off this hill down a major ravine. Yeah. Wow. Yikes. <laughs> now I'm going to have the sun get me. I'm going to get my sunglasses on here. There we go. Hey, everybody that's uh, commenting on my first video this morning, I really do appreciate it. The really nice comments. I mean, I just can't emphasize enough. The person's world, it's just really good to have people that have a sincere care for others. I, mean, I just can't emphasize enough that for those reaching out, thank you so much. I mean, I just, and I would do the exact same thing for you. I'm not embellishing. If I heard something, I'm right there with you. Oh, jeez. What the hell's going on down here? It's so I hate this road. It destroys my trailer. It destroys my trailer because you go along these tree branches and it just scratches the hell out of these out of the trailer. Wow, this truck is so powerful. I mean, this thing ain't this thing is so getting up. This truck right now, it is so getting down the road like nothing. And I'm, I mean, I just can't emphasize enough. I'm sure a lot of people on my YouTube channel are like, man, I'm just sick of that damn power boost conversation. Well, I'm sorry. I'm just all about trying to figure out what this thing really does. I mean, there's one thing for sure. I couldn't do this with my Raptor truck. There's no way. No way. That suspension would be so squatted. You know, you'd, you'd, you'd ruin the suspension. You know, you, you run the risk then of bending or breaking something. You know, those suspensions aren't designed for the heavy toes. So, this is. This has the max tow package on it. Now, I think the way it's spec it's like 12, 12, 5. Is it 14, 14, 4? I don't know. I mean, the trailer behind me is a 12K GBW trailer. And I think the trailer weighs, you know, what the trailer says is you can load, I think, like 6,000, like, like maybe 7,000 pounds, if I remember right. Maybe. So the trailer itself, it weighs close to 5,000 pounds. So right now, between the Mustang and the trailer that's 10,000 pounds roughly and then the one motorcycle is like 700 almost 5 1200 so it's that's what is that 11 11 2 yeah so i'm definitely at 11 2 right now i would you know conservative number i'm 11,000 i'm 11,000 pounds and right now really but here's gonna be the real story which is very concerning i've never driven this truck out the open highway and that's where it can get freaky, you know, meaning that the uh, trailer starts walking on you because the way you loaded it. I mean, this trailer hasn't had that problem, but at the same time, for the vehicle itself, the, uh, um, so yeah, you definitely feel that back end. And that's that's one thing for sure. Where my kid is? Really weird. When my daughter follows me, you know, I gotta kinda keep an eye on her. Yeah, she's back there. She's driving GT500. How about that, huh? That'll be the first time for her. I mean, she's driven the GT350. She's driven my Shelby Super Snake F150 truck. She's driven the race truck. She's driven, I don't know, what other car has she driven down? Her Challenger. Um, she was really wanting to take her Mustang down because it's a stick shift. 
she just loves that stick shift. So she was really fixated on that. And so anyways, the, uh, but I mean, I think when she drives that car, she'd be like, hey dad, this thing's really cool. I'd only hope so. So funny. The way the steering wheel in this truck acts is really interesting with this trailer. It like, it compensates for the trailer's actions in the back. And so, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Ooh. As we do this and do that and do that and do this, right? All right, follow along. As we Back roads so far really good, confident. It's going to be out on that open highway once it hit like 65 miles an hour. That's going to start to be the real tail, true tail of what this thing's doing. Wow, Skr, so it'll be midnight before we get in. I wish I knew that, but wow. I'll tell you what, this truck right now, I'm not embellishing. This truck right now reminds me of the Ford Tremor when I pulled a 7,000 pound tra truck trailer. So this is pulling 4,000 pounds more than that Tremor F-150 I had and that 350 Godzilla motor. And this truck feels every bit of that type of weight with the power to weight ratio. I mean, this thing's crazy. I mean, this power boost is just pulling these hills. I'm driving hills, I'm not driving flat. I'm going over the mountain on these back roads. And this thing's just incredible. I mean, I am so excited I took this thing but the real story is going to be up the road here when I get up high speeds, how this trailer handles. You know, if it starts being freaky at the 70 mile an hour drive, and it is, it's going to be so disappointing because it'd be a huge struggle, you know, going driving for the next basically five hours plus. And so these mirrors, though, tough, but these mirrors, huge, huge difference. You know, because I had to buy on my F 150 Tremor truck. I had to buy the extendable mirrors from e-trailer, and they just, you know. They weren't that great, I mean, in all reality. If you ask me, like, yeah, I mean, it's better to have those than nothing, but sincerely, not really that good. You need you need what I have here, the tow mirrors. I'm so glad this truck came optioned out this way because if you have these tow mirrors, that's what caught my attention to this truck. I was like, wow, that's an F-150 truck with a tow mirror package. That's got to have a good setup, and that's why I wanted it. And, yeah, I mean, right now, I am just totally, I mean, I know, I keep on talking about it, and it's just like, wow, this thing just rocks. It's not, I mean, just night and day. So, for so far, honestly, say right now, so far, this is the best tow truck, tow video, I should say tow vehicle, F-150 half-ton setup I've ever owned. Ever. So anybody out there that's shopping around and kind of weighing their options, this power boost is huge on the torque and the power of getting down the road. And so far the truck really isn't getting pushed around as much as I thought it might, but up here in the highway speeds would be the real deal. As we get in the five of high traffic here area, beautiful weather. Tomorrow's supposed to be rain. That's another reason I want to leave today. I really want to leave today because tomorrow's rain. And I just don't feel like driving in the rain. Here's a guy. So, you know, I hope, this, I hope that kid did the right thing, man. Jesus Christ. All right. The kid's behind me. Is she behind me? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't see her. I guess she stopped for that kid. Wow. Yeah, there she is. All right. Yeah, good news about drive of a Mustang, she drives a Mustang, so she's very abreast and aware. See this truck here? This thing just gets up. This thing's just getting on the speeds like nothing. I mean, I'm not lying. This thing's just rocking. It's not struggling at all. But once again, so we get up to that 70 miles. She's about 65 miles an hour where the attitude plays out on a trailer. It's like about right here is where this trailer which start kind of giving me issues. 65, 70 miles an hour. So the question's gonna be, you know, what does she do now? So we're in seventh gear. 
but the fuel mileage that's going to be what I'm going to be really more focused on here surely is that 19.3 miles a gallon there's no way that's factual we'll just reset that right now we'll just start getting the real sorry story here in the next minute you know like eight and a half nine come on dude go 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 one thing that's aggravating you drive a car and truck and trailers you have people hang with you on their side and it's like go 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 not they're they have something going on in their they're not here they're not driving they're somewhere else you ever had that we all do it so you drive by that exit so when you drive by that exit when you're talking on the phone or looking at something else or you're daydreaming as you're driving on the road who hasn't done that all right so 7.3 and right now we've got a lot of hills so i, I think this fuel mileage is gonna be pretty bad because we just have so many hills. Got a whole other mountain to go over up here in front of us. So, you know, just a lot of work on the truck. Not much flat. This would be a flat run up here. So, we'll get about, we'll get about a five mile. we we'll get a good five miles of flat at least before we hit any more hills. Now, look, six and a half. So, if that's the case, we're going to be going about 120, 150 miles, maybe. There she is. There's the wife. How does the, how does the car feel for you? Amazing. Like it? Yeah, very comfortable. Are you in regular mode or sport mode? Regular, but I did sport mode. Yeah, it gets all rev matching, doesn't it? Yes, it's I, really fun. Oh, I know. I, mean, I know you want to drive your stick ship, but I think that you're. Uh, I think that that rev matching and that DCT are just about as fun. I'm having fun. That's good. That's good. Okay, good deal. And the truck and trailer look okay. Yeah. And all the lights are working, the brake lights, turn signals. Yes. Okay. Yes. What'd you have for eat to eat? I had macaroni and cheese. Yeah. You want anything out here in Winchester? No, uh, I do not because I am full. But like later this evening... Or tonight, like, I probably will have a snack. But I'm full now. Okay. I went ahead and ate, so I wouldn't be hungry for a few hours. Okay. All right, coming up the mountain. I'm not even really pushing it. I'm just kind of letting her kind of do her own thing. And... She's doing great. I mean, she really does. This truck just really does. I mean, she's kind of getting a life of her own right now. I kind of, she kind of got a little bit of a, a little leeway there. Now we're going down the mountain here as it gets dark and things will start to change. Oh my goodness gracious. Here we come. Beautiful views though, which is really nice. And kid says the truck and trailer are good. So here we go. Here it is. We are in the five o'clock traffic. That's for sure. That pretty nice sunset there for everybody. All right, just came down the mountain. And here's gonna be the moment of truth. Does this thing do blue cruise when you, uh, does it give you that capability? So, I don't think it will. But if this isn't mapped, it won't matter. You know, so right now, it's not, I don't even see steering assist. So that's kind of interesting. So for the 
uh, hands-free driving, towing, not so much. Unless I'm supposed to go to some other field that I don't know about the truck and set that up for the towing, but I don't think so. I just can't see it. And what I do notice in the adapter cruise, it does sometimes kind of overtake the truck and steer it a little bit and kind of get things going a little goofy. So I have noticed that. One thing that's very interesting here, my trailer, I special ordered that trailer in 2016, I think it was late in the year, and it's a 2017 trailer, and that's a 28 foot United Custom car hauler with a special spread axle, and you've seen the interior of it, and you know, it's a higher end United trailer, and I paid like, I think, I think I paid like 17, close to 18 grand for that trailer, I think. You go look for that trailer today, that trailer's every bit of twenty-four to $28,000. Yeah, crazy. And if you get into aluminum, so if I wanted to like a 28-foot aluminum car hauler, oh, you're into the $30,000 range. Wow. Wow. So the, the, uh, the like everything else, you know, these, these car haulers, trailers, they've all gone through the roof in price. Like right now, I'm sure I could probably get probably close to 20 grand for my trailer right now. I think 15 would be giving it away. Yeah, I know it's showing some age, but the thing's in excellent condition overall. I I get it serviced and all, so that you know that vehicle it may not have been driven for the last year and a half, but I did the I did a big service on it here like a year and a half prior to that, and I put the uh, the high speed tires on it as well. These are these high, um, they're really, you know, they're commercial grade tires called Gators and are designed to be driven down the highway at, you know, high speeds. So a lot of people understand this stuff. When you get a trailer, if you don't have highway speed rated tires, that you're going to be going down the road at 75, 80 miles an hour. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, you'll find out the hard way that. The tires will blow out. That's a big problem. Oh, the evening, the evening, and the what? You know, and the temperature, fifty-six degrees. Nice day. And truck, it's just really doing really nice. I mean, okay, average eight point two miles per gallon. Okay, coming off the line. This is where you really get it. So kind of come off the line here. And, People are probably upset with me. I don't blame them because I moved from the right-hand lane to the left-hand lane because there was a really slow person going down the road. But we'll get her back up over here in a second. It's five o'clock traffic, you know, in this area. It's slowly coming back, but I don't think it'll be all the way back like it was pre-pandemic because so many, so many people are usually the DC, you know, government contractors, DC employees. And it's, you know, 5 o'clock. It's 6 o'clock, yeah. So these are people left work probably like at 4 o'clock. 4.30. All heading home. Beautiful February. February day. So here's a little bouncing. I'm pretty impressed. This truck really is handling a lot better than I thought it would. So far, I can eat my words. But this truck just seems to really not be acting like your typical half ton truck. So for let's say, could I be very content with this vehicle over having to buy a heavy duty truck to tow? Yeah, right now, I mean, as it is right now, yes. I'm very content, very happy with this trailer and, and the truck package. I really am. And I even questioned myself even taking this trailer with this truck and just take the ramp. But I was like, I just really love this truck. I just really want to drive it. And I really want to get the experience and really see. And right now, I'm going to tell you right now, this is pulling better than my Godzilla uh, F-350 that I had. The gas engine. I mean, just, I just, I mean, I can't emphasize it enough. If you go back and watch my 
tow video comparison of my F-150 Tremor to my F-350 Tremor, and even I was blown away that the F-150 Tremor V6 twin turbo did a better job than the 7.3 V8 Godzilla. I was even like, wow, that's crazy. And this, to me, outpulls better for both of them. Yes, right now, this power boost, heck of a, a tow view. So I would tell anybody that's kind of on the fence, you know, F-150, Coyote motor, F-150, Tremor, F-150 power boost, I would honestly say, if you're going to be doing some pretty good towing, um, I'd go for the power boost. I don't think the V8 Coyote motors that pulls this, this good. It doesn't have, it doesn't have, it doesn't have as much power. Coyote motor is, I don't even know, what is the foot-pound torque in a Coyote motor? I would say in the mid 400s, 440. Yeah, this is like, this is either a 550 or 570 torque rated uh, setup with this electric motor setup. The battery pack. Wow. If we can get eight miles a gallon of this thing, I would be really, I'd be really content. Eight miles a gallon, that's not bad because even a diesel truck, you're at 10, 12, 10. I don't think, if towing with this, I guarantee you you're at 10. You may be at nine. I mean, depends how you mean, if you're not gonna, if you're not getting down the road, I get it. You can get a lot of better mileage, but I just drive down the road. I get down the road. Here we are doing another uh, acceleration pull, and you know, once again, great. It's doing great. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wonder if my other first video of me putting the trailer together posted yet by the time you see this one. I'm sure it will. This one, this video won't paste until late, late tonight, if not tomorrow morning. 